Welcome back to my channel, Zanika here, and I am going to be talking about a little bit more of a serious topic. Yes, I'm taking a break from uh, my Air Force propaganda, <laughs> and we are going to talk about obviously what the title says. First, I will tell you my story and how I did it before I tell you how to do it, and I just want to give you my circumstances so you know where I'm coming from, how I even know all this stuff. So... When I was 18, I, as soon as I turned 18, actually. So when I was 17, I was living in another country, living in Jamaica from 16 to 17. And things were just not, things were just not working out. So y'all, it's like hot as balls. <laughs> it's hot as balls out here. I apologize if it's, if my skin is like super bright. It's just golden hour and <laughs> it's, I'm gonna just be glowing in this video apparently cause baby, the sun is out. <laughs> um yeah so how i moved out with no money no car and really no license either was i ended up getting a job that offered employee housing essentially like i'm just gonna get to the point no my cat isn't here with me i was 18 i had just turned 18 and i was in college and things were just not working out for me um i had like family my mother's support thankfully and i let her know like hey i'm not happy this is just not what I envisioned for myself. This is not going the way I want it to. And thankfully, I had a supportive person emotionally, not financially. And I told her I'm going to get a job and I'm going to become a nanny. <laughs> Y'all, the plan was to become a live-in nanny. So here, that is another way to um, get housing, get m food, you know, everything is to be an au pair. I fortunately and unfortunately didn't get that job i had applied to tons of jobs y'all when i said i i went to indeed i went to zip recruiter i went to not sponsored by the way unless you guys want to because i will um show out for you guys this is my cat mr moon as i was saying i went to indeed i went to literally everything and i just typed in um employee housing and then every single job that offered employee housing or offered some kind of housing subsidized housing popped up and that's pretty much the way to go i am i'm gonna just set this straight you will need at least um at least a thousand dollars so if you're gonna have to get a credit card and do that then yes go ahead and apply for that credit card just know that your plan is to pay that credit card off you're not trying to get into debt you just want something to start you off if you see if you can't like if you don't have that support personally i had to borrow i couldn't even get a credit card at the time i literally had to borrow four thousand dollars around that for from someone else they took it on their credit card and then i had to borrow four thousand dollars from their credit card you know, praise the Lord for that lady, because honestly, like, I could have left the country and never paid her back. But I did, of course. So, um, unfortunately, the job that I got when I searched employee housing, I had gotten a few um, people respond to me and they wanted someone with experience. And I honestly just didn't have the kind of experience they were asking for. I had experience in sales at that point and experience as a cashier at that point. And I had no nannying experience. I didn't get the au pair job. Um, that's the thing with these nannying and au pair jobs. They're gonna want you to have experience. I did not have that. So it didn't work out. I ended up getting a job as a cashier in Colorado, in Vail Mountain. A bunch of people are like ski bums out there. They offer and play housing. They will pay for your housing completely or they'll give you subsidized housing depending on how much you make. And I made enough that I qualified for the subsidized housing, which is when you'll, your rent is like $400. They give you an apartment, but you do have to pay a deposit. They give you, um, God damn, somebody's staring at me. They give you uh, an apartment and it's usually like very, 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 very close to where you'll be working. Mine was like maybe five minutes walking to where I worked at. So that was really, really, really amazing. So anyways, y'all, I got the job. I borrowed the money and I flew out. They did not pay for my flights, unfortunately. Some jobs will pay for your flights. If you're an au pair, they probably will pay for your flight. Some jobs will pay for your flight. Some jobs will pay for your food. Some jobs will pay for your housing. 
I unfortunately only got subsidized housing, but my rent was only four hundred dollars, and I no, I think it was like three eighty, and there was another option for it to be four hundred. I chose a cheaper option, which is where I had a roommate. It was three girls living in one spot. One was a room by yourself, and then one was a shared room. I chose a shared room because I wanted to save my money. So first of all. The next step in it is going in with the mentality that you're going to stack your cash. As soon as I got there, y'all, and I made enough, after my first check, I sent the money to pay for, um, pay back the chick, the lady that I had borrowed the money from, and that was just top of my list. Like, I don't, even now, I'm debt free. I ain't debt free. I almost lied to y'all. I used to be debt free. I was debt free for a long time. I have I have debt, but I have good debt. And I can definitely do a series on what good debt and bad look debt looks like. I have good debt. Um at that time though, being debt free was really important to me. Even though it wasn't on my record and I really could have scammed this lady, of course I paid her back immediately. I sent her I like paid her back immediately. As soon as I made enough money, I was sending it back. I paid that money back and then I got another job, y'all. <laughs> As, as soon as I like was trained on the first job, I got myself another job and then I was working at one point I was working three jobs. I can't tell you how far into it. I was working three jobs like I think maybe three months in I got a second job and like six months later I had another one. Like once I was able to create the schedule that I was getting sleep, I had absolutely no social life and I was not old enough to drink. So really out there all they do is drink and do drugs. Do not get caught up. Do not get caught up in that drinking and that party lifestyle. That's not what you're there to do. You're there to stack your cash and get yourself to a place that you need to be or want to be at. Um, and don't get caught up. Like I cannot emphasize that enough. I had met so many people, so many girls who, not just girls, but college students who said they're just gonna be there for the summer to be a ski bum and they end up there for years. I've met so many people that story. So. My next step, I was working three jobs at some point and I was stacking that cash, baby. And um, I opened a trading account. I started to trade. Not, I was not like day trading, absolutely not. I still don't do that. I did that like for a little bit and it wasn't for me. But if you are capable of doing that, do that. Find something to invest. Create a budget and then find some way to invest. If you know somebody who's creating a startup and they need a little capital and you got that little bit of capital, give it to them and then they give you a percentage of the company. That's another way to invest. Um, go to Robinhood. I don't really like the app Robinhood, but that was one of my starting points and I invested really well. I invested a lot of my free money. I saved 50% of my check. I paid my rent, paid my phone bill pay my internet and that was pretty much it that i had if you have a different store where you have debt focus on paying off your debt anyways y'all that was pretty much how i personally moved out with no money no license and no car i talk about i'm gonna link the video down below how i got my license and got my car i ended up buying a car before i got my license so i looked at the story time down below video the videos to tell you how to move out when you have no money baby girl if you want to skip all that hard work honestly you could just join any branch of the military and i am not i am a hundred percent not trying to push people into the military when i post my content talking about the military it's not because i have a hard on for the military it's because like big air force has done so much for me everything they said they would do big air force not the people the people in the Air Force, they could, whatever, they're whatever. But big Air Force, like the company itself, if you want to say it that way, everything they said they will provide, they have. And everything they ask of me, they said they would ask of me. And I'm doing that versus like, like I said, the people, it's just everyday people. So that's when girls comment on my uh, videos and they're like, I feel like there's something that you're not telling me. Well, it's, it's just like any other job, except there's more rules and more regulations so keep that in mind my next suggestion for moving out with no money and no license maybe you're not at that maybe you have a license is honestly you have to you gonna have to get it you gotta have to get another job you have to get a job you have to stack money somehow you will not be able to move out without some sort of dime some sort of coin or people will take advantage of you and i really don't want anyone coming to my channel and listening to my advice and they're getting uh, taken advantage of like that's the last thing i would want so you need to get a credit card and then pay it back off when you get the chance or you're gonna have to borrow or beg or you're gonna have to get a job and work that money you need at least 
personally i think you need at least four thousand dollars that's what i started with four thousand dollars so i think minimum four thousand dollars so if you have a little job you're in high school you're trying to move out go ahead and stack that money my my story is kind of messed up because when i was trying to stack my money in high school my dad take my money out of my account can y'all believe that Woo, chow so if you're in a situation like that where you're being financially abused i suggest asking for your money to be given in a check and then you're going to go ahead and cash that check and they're going to keep your cash in a safe place if you can't trust your own bank account that's something i can say about that if you can't trust yourself then put it in a savings account if you can't trust yourself if you are a shopaholic or a spendaholic and you can't trust yourself you're gonna have to find a way to make it work because do you want to move out do you want to start a new life do you want to do something new well, sacrifices will have to be made. Go to school. <laughs> Honestly, you really could just go to college and apply for student loans and have your student loans pay for your housing. Apply for scholarships. Obviously, student loans don't cover everything. So you want to apply for scholarships. There are so many, so many scholarships out there. There are resources. There are opportunities. You just have to literally seek them out. And um, a quiet mouth don't get fed. So speak up and ask for it. You got to ask for it. The worst thing they can't say is no. And there's so many people that want to just give their money away and people are just not applying to their scholarships. So if you have any questions, if you're in a difficult situation, I understand like someone that may be watching this move, this video might be in a different circumstance where they have no support and they may or may not be in, in a situation, whether that's, I don't want to say the word DV because you be, YouTube been acting wild lately, but I can imagine like if you have your if you're being financially abused <gasps> that's a cute pup y'all I'm, I'm i'm in an area where there's a lot of pets so yeah if you guys have any questions i may i don't know if i missed anything but the point is find a job that gives you housing whether that's a nanny whether that's an employee housing job there's a lot of jobs that will fly you out just find a job that gives you housing and stack that cash don't get caught up in the lifestyle stack that cash and just focus on you. I understand it's gonna be lonely because there was times where I was literally so lonely. I was like, why am I doing this? I had saved up enough where I felt like, okay, I can start going out now, but I'm, I just really wanna emphasize not getting caught up. Do not get caught up with these people because they can go home to their parents. And that was the difference between me and a lot of the people there. They could go home to their people at the end of the day and if I screwed up I knew that I didn't have a fallback like I was my fallback and I am somebody else's number one I'm their front front back front front forward I'm someone else's like support system as well as my own and if I fall off they fall off so and it's the same case if you have a child I don't have a child but at the end of the day um yeah if you don't have a fallback don't get caught up with these people that's that's my biggest biggest um encouragement when it comes to this situation let me know if y'all have any other questions i feel like there's so much more i could have told you guys i think i'm gonna do a part two on this um about like credit good credit how i built my credit y'all how i built my credit how i afford my car everything like i'm very 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 excited to get back to these story times if you've been a part of my channel for a long time you know that i started off with story times so anyways y'all because i feel like i am ranting let me know if i if there's anything else y'all wanted to know any other questions you guys had about it i definitely want to go into more detail but i feel like i'm repeating myself it is kind of a chit chat rant type thing however i I still want to make it informative. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. You guys, it literally says 90% of people, you guys come back, but you don't subscribe. And that hurts my channel and it hurts my growth on YouTube. So I'd really love if you subscribed um, and like and leave me a comment. Let me know if you are in a similar situation. If you have any questions, if there's anything else I can answer. Y'all, when I say I have lived in a little bit of life, I've been on this earth. I've definitely lived. So I've... I don't want to say I can have the answers to everything because I don't. I don't. Y'all be reaching out to me on Instagram asking me so many questions and I'm just like, <laughs> ask me in the comments first of all because it comes to my, it'll go to my Instagram but I won't see it. Like it'll go to my request and I don't, I try to check my requests and respond to them but if you don't follow me and I don't follow you, 
especially you don't follow me, y'all follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Pinterest. And that's at Zanika W. Follow me on Pinterest, y'all. I actually really like Pinterest. It's so not toxic. I feel like Instagram has been very eh, lately. So, um, yeah, just let me know if y'all had any questions. I definitely will probably make a part two or something similar, more in depth on credit and saving. Saving something really. All right, you guys, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself financially. Take care of yourself mentally. Do what needs to be done to get you where you need to be of course as long as you're not hurting yourself or anyone else that's all i gotta say i am not a financial advisor i'm not a therapist i'm not a doctor i'm really just a girl telling you what i've gone through in my opinion on things so yeah don't forget to hit that subscribe and like bye